Hey guys, so welcome to day three of our messaging tips. Super excited to bring you three new tips today about messaging, about um, how to work your conversations with these people that you are trying to get to either work this business with you or maybe take our products. Okay, so our first tip today is, and this is something that I think you guys are going to be a little surprised about because we've always taught um, to push the products, right? And because that's what we are, we're a product-based business. Um, but I want you guys to think about this a little different and lead with the business default to the products. Okay, what does that mean? Why are we leading with the business? Well, here's what she says in this book, and I thought it was so great, and, and it's so outside of what we used to do, okay? But if we lead with the products, we end up backing ourselves into a corner, okay? And and what I mean by that is that if we never introduce the business, guys, we may never get it in. They may just try the products. Maybe maybe it works for them. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe they don't like it. Maybe they die, have some die off. You know, but what if they're interested in the business, okay? So here's how that works. You say you introduce the business to them, however you're going to message them. And if they say, you know what, I'm really not interested in that, but thanks for thinking of me. Awesome. You know what? We have some amazing products that I would love for you to check out. So we've got a great probiotic. Everyone needs a probiotic. We've got a great multivitamin. Everyone needs a multivitamin. Let me tell you about all these amazing products that we have. Which one sounds most interesting to you? Okay, then if they say they're not interested in the products, hey, you know, look at this list of candida overgrowth symptoms and tell me if you know anybody that has in these symptoms and who maybe can you refer me to that might need these products since you, you know, aren't interested in them right now. And that way you go from business to products to, hey, do you think you might can give me some referrals? So you're not backed into a corner. So if you're leading with the products and then you've got to wait a month for them to try the products to see if they like them, and then you talk about the business, then you've lost a month of a potential great business builder. But if you do it this way, if you lead with the business and they just tell you they're not interested, then you've got two other options to default to. I think this is a great mindset to have. So that's tip number one, lead with the business, default to the products, and then ask for referrals. And we're going to go over a little bit more this week about kind of how the flow of that conversation goes. And guys, this is not something we're just going to stop this week. We're going to be talking about messaging all month, and I promise I'm not going to leave you hanging with all this. All right, so tip number two today, or actually I think this is like tip number seven or whatever. Okay, don't count your chickens before they hatch. All right, we hear that all the time. Our grandmother probably said that to us. Our mom probably said that to us. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Here's what that means. Don't assume that when someone tells you that they're ready to purchase, that they are really going to do it. So don't count them in until they're all in. They're never all in until they hit that sign up button. So I don't want you to just assume the sale. You've got to organize a schedule of follow up with them so that you are consistently making sure that they're purchasing the product or that they're signing up as an ambassador. You want to follow up with them until they actually hit that sign up button. And when you get that notification or you know you see it in your back office that they're an ambassador, woohoo! Your work's still not done, but at least your work is done on the follow-up for them signing up as an ambassador or as a customer. So don't count your chickens. They're never all in until they hit that button. All right, last one for the day, and that is work from appointment to appointment. And this doesn't really involve cold messaging. It kind of does, but as much as, um, you know, follow-up appointments. All right, so when you message someone, and you're working and you're trying to, you know, implement this tool, um, you're going to message someone. And then I loved what Laura Robinson talked about at our Super Saturday training in Point Clear. She talked about the three plus three plus three plus three months method. All right. And this kind of, to me, um, is the same as working from appointment to appointment. So if I message someone in the beginning, all right, and they tell me, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm interested. Hey, when do you have time to talk this week? I've got Friday at three o'clock. Um, I've got, and give them some, some dates and some times and ask them which time works better for them. All right, so say they never get back with you. Three days later, we're gonna message them again and say, hey, I would love to chat with you. You know, what time can you talk? Yeah, okay, you know, um, I can talk on this day. So we're going to talk to them on that day, and then we're going to set up a follow-up appointment with them maybe two or three days later after that. Okay, so you want to make sure you have a time and a place that you are going to definitely talk to them the next time. So work from appointment to appointment. In that 3 plus 3 plus 3 method, which is very similar to this, you're going to, you know, follow up, uh, you know, three days later, and then if 
you send them something on maybe three days later, maybe you send them a business testimony or maybe you send them um, a website and, you know, maybe something from Huffington Post or maybe something from, you know, a, a, something about network marketing and why it's great for, you know, anyone. Um, What's kind of the new revolutionary business idea of the future? And so, you know, maybe you're sending them that for the business. And then three days later, if they don't respond, you send them a diamond documentary, something that maybe would appeal to them or, or resonate with them three days after that. Say they don't reply to you at all after those three follow-ups. Then you wait three months and you send them a message that says something like this. Hey, I'm creating a follow-up list, and I know that, you know, three months ago we had chatted about the fact that you wanted some more energy, and, and you wanted to see some relief from your migraines, and, and you also said that you were interested in making some really great money. On this follow-up list, would you like to stay on my follow-up list? Um, because I, I want to make sure that I'm following up with you if that's what you want. And so, of course, most of the time they're going to say, yeah, I actually would love to stay on your follow-up list, and actually I've been thinking about this, or whatever they say. And then you enact that 3 plus 3 plus 3 rule again. Okay, so you're 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 working from appointment to appointment, but you're also establishing um, a really great regimen of follow up with your business. So I want to make sure that we're implementing this because I don't want us to just you know say hey you know let's talk today and 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 this and this and this. I want us to make sure that we're establishing that you know regimen of following up with people so that they don't forget they don't lose sight of what we're talking about um, they don't you know move on to the next thing that they know that they have an established time an established day to talk to us the next time about this opportunity or about these products I think it just you know if I know that you know I'm gonna talk to Susie on Monday at three o'clock and then Susie said hey I really like to talk to you again on Wednesday is that okay what time can you do Okay, well, I'm going to plug it in my phone, whatever time we agree upon, Wednesday at 3 o'clock to talk to Susie again. And I'm really going to be, you know, I'm already going to have it in my mindset that that's what I've got to do that day on Wednesday at 3 o'clock. And, you know, people may forget, but that's okay. Message them again. Set up another time. But work from appointment to appointment. I want to read to you guys what she says in this book about working from appointment to appointment because I think it was really, really, really um, important. Um, she said, when, you're, when our team members complain that they feel like they're chasing their prospects once they start, start a conversation with them, there's always one cause. They're not setting up the next conversation appointment while they're talking to their prospect. Sometimes it's because they simply forget to do this important step or they're afraid of being pushy. Being professional is never pushy. Your time is valuable and so is your prospects. As soon as a prospect enters your funnel, work from appointment to appointment and usually no more than 24 to 48 hours apart. So she's actually saying no more than three days. As you guide them through the process of determining how they're fit into your business now as a team member, a customer, or a referral source, setting up the next appointment during your current touch point will make for a much more efficient and enjoyable process for both you and your prospect. I love this, I, you know, simply because it gives me kind of a, a base for, you know, how I'm going to follow up and how I'm going to continue these conversations with these prospects. So our three tips today, I'm just going to go back over them again, lead with the business and default with the products. Guys, I'm going to go over this more um, tomorrow, actually, with my really long um, video that I'm going to be making for you guys on um, a few things. Um, and then don't count your chickens before they hatch so they're not all in till they're all in. And then of course work from appointment to appointment. So I hope these tips help you today. Love to hear from you and what you think about this. Um, comment below this video and let me know what you think.